Hey guys, as you can tell, I <clears throat> well, I just woke up, um, I just made my bed, and I thought, why not film a new updated morning routine video? I'm gonna get my day started, and so every morning what I do is obviously I get up, um, I make my bed every single day. It's such a great habit to get into, and is really, it only takes like 30 seconds really. So then when I'm done making my bed, I go into my bathroom, I brush my teeth. Um, sometimes I do uh, my gua sha, I don't do that every day. And then I do my lymphatic massage routine. And so I will take you guys through that. people often do when they're doing gua sha is they press really hard on their face or on the skin wherever they're using it and the thing is when you're trying to move the lymph you actually don't want to and don't need to press that hard into your face or your skin wherever you're doing it um, you just need to do it very lightly and you want to use the gua sha flat against your face as best as you can um, and that helps to move it the best so I'm done doing this and now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna wash my armpits and you might be like, why are you doing that, Lauren? Um, and I don't do that every night, but on the nights that I use this um, nighttime cleansing, de it's like a detox deodorant. Um, and what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to pull heavy metals and toxins out of your armpits um, because there's so many lymph nodes in that area and it's definitely an area where you want to keep the lymph clear and healthy so what I like to use it's this company is Herbalix nighttime detox deodorant and um, obviously there's no aluminum this is the ingredients I'll put their link um, to their website in the description box so you guys can check it out if you want to. But anyways, in the mornings when you're done using it, you're supposed to uh, wash it off of your armpits in the morning. And so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to wash it off my armpits and then I'm going to get to my lymphatic massage routine. So one of the things, if you're gonna use that detox deodorant and um, wash your armpits off in the morning is you wanna use a non-toxic soap. And I know the company Herbalix, they sell a like a goat soap um, that is specific for using in the morning after using your detox deodorant at night. Um, but I don't have that, it's like a goat milk soap. So I just have uh, Dr. Bronner's soap, which is non-toxic as well. And that's just what I use to wash my armpits off in the morning. So now I'm gonna do my lymphatic massage just on the upper part of my body uh, really quick before I go and have my lemon water. Okay, now I'm gonna go make my lemon water. Okay, so now I've got my water poured with lemon in it and usually I like to put a little bit of honey in there just to make it sweet. And, oh, <laughs> missed the jar. And then I'll stir that together and drink this whole um, 32 ounce jar of lemon water. And then I'll start prepping my uh, juicer for making celery juice and whatever other kind of juice I'm in the mood for.
So I've just washed a whole bunch of celery and I'm gonna juice it in my juicer and that will make my celery juice for the morning. So usually in the mornings after I make my celery juice, I'll make some other sort of juice. And today I'm gonna do asparagus, pineapple, and burdock root. I know it's really simple. I usually um, go between doing this juice and also um, pineapple, ginger, turmeric, and um, garlic. And um, I don't always use pineapple as like the fruit, sometimes I'll do orange, sometimes I'll do apple, um, but pineapple's really easy to get here, and it's very inexpensive here, so lately I've been going for pineapple, especially because oranges are not really in season anymore, um, and then burdock root is also really easy to find here because there's like a lot of Asian, Japanese influence here, and so, um, it, this is really popular in a lot of like Japanese cuisine, so it's easy to find burdock root. They also call it gobo. Uh, I like to use this because it's a powerful liver cleanser, and um, so is asparagus. And asparagus is actually great for cleansing all of your organs and um, helping your body to be able to repel toxins. Pineapple is great for digestion. It helps your body to burn fat. It's got a lot of other benefits too that I can't think of off the top of my mind, but um, that is why I chose those three simple ingredients for this next juice. It'll just be a little shot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get to juicing it. Okay, so my camera died, so now I'm using my iPhone to film this, but um, I finished juicing my juice. Um, turns out it's a latte, basically. It's like a green latte, um, but I think it's something about the, the pineapple or the asparagus that makes it really foamy, so um, it's like half juice have foam so so yeah so that's basically what my morning routine looks like the only other thing that I do before I get started with work is I will put out all of my supplements to take um, so what I'm currently taking right now and this is always changing there's a couple things that remain constant um, but one of the supplements that I always take is zinc this is from Vimergy this is a liquid zinc sulfate um, and yeah, it's it has glycerin in it too, so it's actually sweet and it tastes really nice. So if you're looking for a zinc, a liquid zinc that actually tastes okay, um, go for this one. And I do two dropperfuls of that in the morning. And I'm also doing lemon balm. I do three to four dropperfuls of this in the morning and that's also from Vimergy. And then lately I've been doing <laughs> like a Vimergy ad, but it's not. Um, then I do Celery Force. I take like three or four of these in the morning and um, it's not a replacement for celery juice. There's no celery whatsoever in this. Um, it's just inositol, L-glutamine, L-taurine, choline, and magnesium glycinate. And um, but basically I find that it helps me think clear and um, you know, supports, supports my brain basically. You saw me take my B12 earlier, so I take one dropper full of that. Um, what else am I taking? Oh, I take lysine. Um, I take three or four capsules of that. Um, take Vitex Berry. I don't take very much of this. I only take one capsule. Um, I don't find that I need a lot, um, but the serving size is two capsules. Um, and that's from, that's from Gaia Herbs. The only other thing I take, hold on, I just ran out of my old bottle. The only other thing I take every day is vitamin C. So, um, this is like micro C. This is from Vimergy. This is what they call it. So it has vitamin C and it also has calcium, magnesium, 
rutin, uh, grapeseed extract, r extract, rose hips, and I think I'm saying this right, but acerola fruit extract. That's the vitamin C that I take, and I'll take like four capsules of that, and I'll take that two times a day. I'm not currently taking a lot of herbs right now, just because I don't I don't have a lot. Um, it's taking forever for shipments to get here um, because of, you know, the virus. But I do also have golden seal that I'll take off and on. Um, and this is really strong. I love this herb. Um, so it's sometimes I'll take it for like two weeks and then I'll take a two week break. Um, but it's, it's really, it's one of my favorite things. Um, and then I also have some ashwagandha, the jar or the, you know, the bottle is really dirty, but ashwagandha is really great for the adrenals. So I have that too. Um, and that's, yeah, that's my current supplement list. Um, so I thought I'd update you with that too while I'm doing, while I'm showing you guys my morning routine. So that's about all for today. I'm going to clean up my juicer, drink my other juice and just get started with work. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.